Nyamachoma is Kenya's trademark delicacy. And for the Nyamchom lovers, the tastiest Muzichoma are the ones reared in arid regions. <laughs> for decades, goats were reared in open fields, but in recent times, goat farmers are a lot more involved in the rearing process to ensure their goats fetch good prices at the end of the rearing period. <laughs> There are many reasons why goats were among the first animals to be domesticated. <coughs> in terms of evolution, goats could be separated by their dispersion area in three large groups. The European, the Asian and the African. <coughs> Apart from being a source of delicious meat, goats are also used for forest grazing, an integrated and alternative production system that is useful to control weed growth and reduce fire risk. <laughs> In this episode of Sheep and Goat, we travel to Kitui County where we feature Joseph Kimanzi, a mixed farmer who has specialized in goat farming. Um, me mimi ni mkulima wa mbuzi na tena inalima chakula kama tama, mawele, uh, mahindi kidogo, uh, ndegu, ndegu sana tunalima zote tunachanganya na hiyo ni chakula ya, ya nyumbani ya kukula na nyingine tunauza na hata mtama iko mingi na hata tunauza <coughs> Most farmers often specialize in either dairy goats or mutton goats. Kimanzi has taken a plunge into both dairy and mutton goats. <coughs> if you are an aspiring goat farmer Knowledge on the various breeds can help you pick the right goat for your type of farming, whether dairy or meat. The type of goat breed is crucial to consider when you start keeping goats. Some breeds produce more milk, while others grow quickly. You can farm both types of breeds, and at the end of the day, you will be harvesting both meat and milk. Different breeds can also require different levels of care. Kulima mbuzi huyu uh, ni mwaka wangu wa, wa saba kama ninafunga mbuzi mbuzi za maziwa na sana sana za ngombe uh, za nyama za nyama ndo inatengemea sababu ukilisha vizuri ikipata chakula vizuri inakuwa haraka unapeleka kwa soko lakini tukawaje tu kaungana tukawa kikundi tuka ikawa sasa tuna tunaweka mbuzi mingi tuna tunaenda tunachagua alafu tunaleta tuna tunawalisha tuwapatie ndawa tunaondoa mifupa eh, kube na eh, hiyo yote tumetupatia eh, mbuzi inakuwa kwa haraka hii ni kupe Kimanzi initially bred the traditional goats that are reared in Kitui region he however opted to do cross breeding to improve his herd for livestock keepers who only have access to small amounts of land for grazing or feed production Rearing the healthiest and fittest animals that will earn the highest price possible in the marketplace is vital. <laughs> One way of doing this is through selective breeding. Selective breeding involves allowing the strongest males to mate with the females. By doing so, farmers will improve the chances that the offspring will also be strong and healthy. <laughs> Another way of breeding better quality animals is by crossbreeding which involves using a male animal from a different breed. Kwanza hiyo ukulima wa mbuzi nilijua kwamba hizi mbuzi za kwetu inakuwa ndogo hazito ile 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 quality ya ya, ya juu. Sasa tukaanza ku mix na breed ya kusoka kwa gala. Eh tunaziendea tunachagua ile nzuri inakaa mzuri na kuna kifua kimepana na nyuma iko na andas mzuri sasa hiyo tutachagua tumefundishwa kuhusu mbuzi mbora mbuzi kubwa mbuzi ya nyama kwa kilimo na watu wa agriculture kwa hivyo tulianzia pale na mimi nikapata hiyo juzi na ndio nikaanza ku breed hizo mbuzi zangu ile za kwanza nilikuwa nazo nikachukua zingine kutoka kwa kwa wagala alafu nikaleta kwa mboma na ndio naendelea na 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 na, na kukuza Kimanzi says he earned his expertise in goat farming from other farmers who are part of his cooperative. They benchmarked in a farm that was doing well and he has been able to implement the strategies to his benefit. 
Wakati tulianza kikundi yetu tulitembelea watu wa Megwani tukaona wameanzisha mradi wa kukuza mbuzi. Tukawa tuko na sababu ya, ya malisho, tuko na malisho mzuri, tuko na area kubwa ya kulisha. Sasa ndio tukawa na interest ya, ya, ya kulisha mbuzi. Kutoka kwa hiyo group tukaona ukichanganya okay, mbuzi mzuri e, ile ya kutoka kando na kwako unapata a very good breed na hata mbuzi inakuwa kubwa na hata unadhalisha una ile ya maziwa inakuwa mbuzi mzuri. Kwa hivyo tulipata huyo juzi kutoka kwa wakulima wenzetu na sisi tukaanzisha hiyo kikundi na mimi mwenyewe kama mkulima nikaanzisha kwangu. Sababu Every farmer has their own unique way of rearing. Kimanzi starts his day by checking the goats to ensure they are healthy. He then feeds them and gives them water before releasing them into the grazing fields. Mama lingine ni hapa. Goats can be reared intensively on small acreage by using supplemental feed. If using an extensive system, 2 to 10 goats per acre is a rough guide depending on the supply of grass and brush. Goats are top-down grazers and will select from weeds, leaves and grasses to meet their own requirements. They can also help to improve marginal areas, encouraging the establishment of grassy species and by so doing, provide low-cost environmental management. Asubuhi nikiamka kitu ya kwanza ni kuangalia kama mbuzi zote zimelala vizuri. kama wakati njana zikikula kuna moja iliumia, kuna moja mguu wake uko na shida, kuna moja injisho imedungwa. Aba kutoka pale saa mbili hivi unafungulia saa moja unusu unafungulia unaanza kutembesha pole pole area moja kuenda ingine unaenda unaizuia lakini kifika saa ine hivi kama kuna jua jaribu uipatie maji kidogo alafu upeleke ikule ikule ikuje ilale kitu kama saa saba saa nane ukiondoa hivi ipeleke kwa maji sasa ndio itakunywa mzuri ikikunywa kwa mara ya pili sasa itakuwa na nguvu sasa hata ikienda kwa malisho haitakuwa ina kula sana sababu imechanganya na hata itakuwa ina 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 ina, 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 ina chew the card mzuri later in the afternoon kimanzi gives his goats water for the second time it is especially important to water your goats regularly especially if they are in arid regions kitu kama saa nane hivi ukiondoa wakati ukitoa kwa wa, mahali ilikuwa inalala sasa unaipeleka kwa maji sasa ndio inakunywa maji vizuri na ikikunywa maji vizuri itakuwa hata ukipeleka haitakuwa inakula sana itakuwa inatembea mzuri unaona hata ina kama inafurahia eh, eh unaizungusha na kitu kama saa kumi hivi unaileta una pale mapoja alafu hata ukiziacha itakuja nyumbani peke yake sababu huko tuko na area kubwa ya Ya, ya, ya kulisha, hata ukiyacha, itakuja beinyewe. Kimanzi mainly depends on the bushes and grass in his rearing area for feeds. He however supplements with feeds he received from the Ministry of Agriculture. This include dry feeds and honey. Quality goat feed ensures quality meat or milk production. Providing adequate feed according to the demand of your goats will help them to grow faster and produce more milk or meat. Goats also convert food to quality meat or milk very fast as compared to any other animal. It is therefore important to always try and feed your goats quality food with proper nutrition and energy. Malisho kuna ile malisho ya kawaida kuna hii ya, ya miti ya kawaida ya, ya msituni alafu kuna kuna chakula kingine tulikuwa tumepatiwa ya, ya mbuzi. Eh, I can't remember well the, the name lakini na, na ukipatia kwa wiki moja unaweza kuipatia bara mbili unaweka unaweza kwa unaweka kwa basin alafu unaipelekea pale inaanza kulambalamba na hapo ni asubuhi inaanza kulambalamba sasa hata kama ilikuwa hata eh, kama ilikuwa haijakula vizuri jana unaona inapata appetite um, kuna ile ya aina ya asali Okay, 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 ile chakula, weka ile ya aina ya asali kidogo kidogo na hiyo tunaipata kwa ministry ya agriculture. Ah uh, hiyo ni mzuri sana inapatia mbuzi apetati ya kukula na na, na kianza kulamba hiyo hata kama ni maziwa na kama ni nyama itakuwa kwa haraka sana. When it comes to breeding, Kimanzi encourages farmers with traditional breeds to embrace them as they can be improved to better breeds. He highly advocates for crossbreeding with the gala breed as it grows faster. 
The gala breed is also commonly referred to as the Borana or Somali goat. The gala goat is a perfect breed for small and large scale farmers. Its characteristic long and tall body, typical of most meat producing animals, is advantageous. This goat, if reared and managed well, has the ability to support a future rich in goat meat production. These goats are best suited for arid and semi-arid areas. They are hardy animals and being browsers can feed on different types of vegetation, making feeding a venture within the reach of the average farmer. Investigations na wana vijana. Sababu ni na wafunza vile wanaesa kukaa na mbuzi akiwa healthy akiwa ana matatizo kitu ya kwanza ni kuangalia kama ako na kupe ila kwa pembe mkia kwa miguu uh, kama ako na vimbe mahali nini nini nimeuma uh, kama mguu iko na shida amekanyangwa ama amefunjika na na, na, na waimisha wawe friends wa wambuzi na ka, kama vile tuko mbuzi inafurahia hata wakati mwingine ukiwa mzuri sana upigi au ufanye unaona tu hata ikienda inakufuata na wanafurahi wake na wewe so i ni muhimu ni nataka kuwafanya wao friends wa wa mbuzi na kitu kingine ni wajue mbuzi mzuri anakana mna gani kama ana shida anakana mna gani Kimanzi says the venture has been highly beneficial to him he has been able to make enough money to pay for school fees from the sale of goats he currently has over 35 goats and young ones. Uzi ni mzuri hata zaidi ya ya, ya ile ya shambani sababu at any time mbuzi wako kama wanakula vizuri utafuna sababu within a time ukipata tano ukianza kuwatunza vizuri usema ni utawatunza wasoko utapata wanaendelea vizuri na hata kama mvua itakosa eh, kwa mboma utakosa mbuzi wala wako kuwatunza vizuri watakuwa vizuri na sasa wakikua utakuja unawachukua unaenda kama fisi mi inanisaidia sana kwa fisi yangu eh, ya watoto eh, sababu ni kuna wala wako eh, eh, secondary school kuna wala wako primary school mwingine amemaliza um, teachers college and I, I am a teacher yeah. wanasaidia sana kwa Yes, sikosi sikosi sababu ninatunza ni, ni tano for a time natunza wengine 10 for a time kulingana na season vile iko na kulingana na ile mahitaji ya kwa mboma yeah. <coughs>